Hello all, so I'm just going to install Windows Vista today and configure it for, for use in 2020. So I've got an ISO here, um, it's already got Service Pack 2 uh, built in. Uh, and then we'll install we'll install the platform update and the supplement once we've installed this. So uh, here we go. All right, just select your language and all this, and just click next. Yeah, so Service Pack Two is installed already, and there we are. Okay, so just put in a username here. Don't need to put a password. That could be whatever you want. Um, and here, just select Ask Me Later. Select your time zone and your computer's current location. And there we are. Okay, so... It has been installed. Now we're going to install all the uh, drivers that are supported on your system uh, for, for Windows Vista. This is a VM, so uh, I'll just install VMware Tools. And there we are. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we'll just select Typical and install that. Okay, so once you've done that, just, just restart your system. Okay, so you can uncheck that, so it doesn't come up again at startup. Okay, we're going to turn on the arrow theme now. Like so. There we are. Um, okay, so due to Windows Update, uh, for Windows Vista being shut down in August, I believe. Um, we will have to install the updates uh, manually uh, through CMD, so I'll leave a link down in the, in the description uh, so you can download this folder um, from Green Hill Maniac on the MSFN forums. Okay, so open up CMD as an administrator. So just paste in this command and replace the the directory location to the one that your um, updates are in. So, okay, and then in here and we copy that and then and then just paste. The new one in. Yeah. Okay, so that is completed. Uh, now, just do it again. So those are the security updates. Now we're going to do the sort of general updates and then the hot fixes. Okay, so for this one, I just extracted all these updates uh, directly into the folder that they were in. And then I ran that command that I did to install all these updates. It is recommended that you only install 200 updates at a time. Otherwise it could crash or it can hold or it can hang. Okay, so now we're gonna install updates uh, post 2017. These are for server 2008, which is uh, uh, very, very similar to Windows Vista. And so these updates will install. Okay, so now we're going to install the extended kernel made possible by Win32 on the MSFN forums. I will leave a download link for all these for everything I did in this video in the description below and what you want to do now is take these files place them on desktop okay make sure to have the CD-ROM uh, be the first uh, to boot on startup so you just go here and you just change that to the first option so and then just press F10 Okay, so to install 
the kernel extension for Windows Vista, you want to boot into a a Vista installation div and boot up to it and then click next and then click repair your computer. Select your operating system, click next and open up a command prompt. You then want to type cd, which is change directory, space forward slash d space capital C and then a colon, which is uh, for the C drive. And then inside that C drive, you want to change directory to users, the users folder. And then you want to navigate to your user folder, which in my case is my name. And then you want to change directory to the desktop, which is where I've saved those DLL files. And then what you want to type is copy asterisk dot DLL C colon backslash windows backslash system32. Press enter. And then here you, it will ask you if you want to overwrite these DLL files. So we want to say yes for all of them. And then exit out of that and restart the system. Okay, so once that's done, you can now start downloading your program. So you'll be needing a web browser. So here we have Chromium, which now works thanks to the extended kernel. So this is version 72. I think there is a, a later version that does work as well. So so yeah, this is this works. This can go to YouTube. Um, as you can see, it works. It's got the aero transparency. Okay, as for Steam, um, this version of Steam, uh, the June 6th client of, of this year, does work in a very limited form. It only has your library. So you can't actually use the store as aspect of Steam uh, for, for this client. Uh, you, you, you probably, you most likely can actually have, use older builds that can access the store, but um, I'm not aware of any. So yeah, as you can see, the Steam browser is disabled. So if you wanted to use any Microsoft products, you can use Office Online, which is what I do. And as you can see, uh, Discord, uh, the online version works. Uh, unfortunately, the client, the desktop client does not work. So that's about it, really. As time goes on, more programs should be made to work on Windows Vista. So yes, thank you for tuning in, and goodbye.